All right, y'all, we're going to talk about the metaverse right quick because this summer I, I feel a lot of people don't even realize when it comes to this metaverse, it's a digital reality to the point to where they're actually selling you artificial, uh, artificial reality, land, merchandise, clothes, whatever it is. You, in it, basically, you can buy your reality. Okay? I don't know if it's shit cheaper or not. I don't know. But in other words, now you're trapped within a matrix that's buried in another matrix, an artificial reality. <sighs> this is bad, y'all. Bad. Bad. Y'all don't see. Let me tell you how bad it is. First, they hit you with a, a needle. First, they hit you with a needle. That is going to suppress your junk DNA from unlocking once we fully await, once we fully fully enter the Aquarian constellation. Okay. And then they give you an artificial reality. Okay. To the point to where the reality is going to be so vivid and so intense, this artificial reality, till people are going to push aside the reality that we live in day to day and really put more attention in that virtual reality. Nothing is going to be um, natural anymore. Mother Nature is going to be totally ignored. Okay? They're going to give more energy to the artificial intelligence more, than they, more so than they will uh, natural things like herbs, Going to grow a garden and stuff like this, stuff that really truly matters, that will sustain you on the planet. There's nothing in a digital world that will sustain you. Let me say this: there's benefits to it. Let's say if you were to want to study martial arts, there was benefits in that because you can program your um, DNA to a certain extent to where you will be a master at certain um, physical fighting skills because the way that this meta, this um, meta world that they're supposedly introducing to us, especially in a short period now, from, from now, the virtual reality will allow you to feel like you're being actually touched. If you was to have sex on this virtual reality, you would feel the sensations. Okay? So, if you was to be fighting on it, you would be feeling the effects, but it wouldn't hurt you. But you'd, you would feel it, but you wouldn't be hurt in no type of way. So, if you were to get in a fight with somebody physically, you would have uh, a level of skills because of the experience that you went through in this virtual reality. Okay, there's benefits to that, but there's side effects to benefits like that, as far as taking you from a reality, okay, from things that really matter, like Mother Nature and stuff like that. The suppression of the needle first introduced, was introduced nationwide. We know what needle I'm talking about, the one that suppressed, you know, I can't say certain words because we're dealing with... The dark forces today, the Orion constellation, that uses Freemasons as puppets and have been using Caucasians as puns for centuries. Okay, now let's say we we enter the Aquarian constellation. DNA is going to unlock if you haven't been hit with a needle. DNA gonna unlock. Now you're going to be clairvoyant, telepathic, if you haven't had the needle. You're going to be telepathic, clairvoyant, and you're going to be able to astral travel. The real virtual reality is astral travel. This is why they have introduced the virtual reality. It's a substitute from the real virtual reality. Which is astral projection, astral travel, astral experience. 
the real education, Astrio. Okay. So let's say you wanted to study all cultures. You can astro project, astro travel, and see how certain in Argentina and Portuguese and and Romania, wherever it may be, you can study it before you go there physically, so you can have an idea of of how these cultures actually operate. So you wouldn't be green to it. Okay. You'll also be able to study things on a subatomic level in the astral world. See, they know the benefits of real astral travel. So they're going to suppress your DNA that is about to unlock, that is going to cause you to, uh, basically, may I say forcefully, cause you to astral project, have clairsentience, clairvoyance, telekinesis, excuse me, y'all, Telepathy, this is why these things are being presented around the time that we are in now. It's all about timing with the, with the Orion constellation or the Draconians that have been orchestrating our life on a global scale. They've been setting it up and we just fall right into it because we've been all puns in their game. But we are all being set up to be taken away from the real reality, the interdimensional reality. This is something that they will never allow. It's in the book. If you read the book, The Secret Covenant by a group, do you dare not name? They say it in the book. We must keep them warring amongst each other through race, through color of skin. We must start poisoning them at a young age. You know, things such as... um. Starting on their children when they're young as infancy by sticking them with a needle. And then when they get older, giving them what they love, the most sweet things, and filling their teeth with poisonous metals. This is what they say in the damn book, y'all. And this is the part that got me. They said we must never allow them to reach the heights of the cosmos like us. So, in other words, they don't want your ass astral, astral travel. Because that's the easiest way to reach the cosmos, through astral travel. Okay? Or uh, Merkaba activation. They, they claim they, they don't never want us to have this type of ability. Okay? So, the setup has been staged from a, from a while ago, y'all. A long time ago. They've been saw all this shit coming. I don't know if y'all familiar with what happened in Africa. It was a school, a little bunch of children, I think it was in South Africa. But it was a bunch of children out playing at this school in South Africa. Bunch of little natives. And they was um, greeted by some beings on a spaceship. And they was talking to the children telepathically. And they was telling the children... To stay away from the technology. That the technology in the future is going to be the downfall of humanity. Y'all go check it out. Now, when they was questioning the children, all the children had basically the same story. They all had, because the, they, they, they was trying to see what these children lying. But all of them had like the same story. Just told in a different way. Some of them was very identical. But point is, it was very identical. And the message basically was that technology was going to be the downfall of humanity. Because in this futuristic New World Order, they're looking to incorporate nanotechnology within the mortal. And I made a video about that, but they took it down. Because it was too fucking exclusive. And I was just reading from a book. The book is called The Oracles of the Illuminati by, by William Henry. Where well, I went in extensive detail showing about the nanotechnology and how it's going to be able to heal you if you have this nanotechnology in you. This nanotechnology is going to have make it to where you have a internal internet but in the process, 
they can control you. You will become like a super soldier's zombie. They can shut off your whole entire neurological system through this nanotechnology. As told in the book, The Oracles of the Illuminati by William Henry. Okay? That book was written, I think, about 20, about 20 years ago. But everything that William Henry said in that book is coming to fruition. So, I was able to keep that video up, y'all. It was some, I dropped some, whew, some shit in that video. Anyway, I hope y'all get it. I hope y'all see it for what it really is. They're planning to make a matrix within a matrix. And in the process, lowering you into a deeper, deeper sleep to the point to where everybody's going to be in a fucking coma. Sitting there, sitting down, living a virtual reality. Eating, sleeping, and shitting, and focusing on a virtual reality. People are going to be so goddamn lazy. Y'all don't see this? Okay. Hope y'all see this. It's going to make humans more lazy. This is why they can play the movie I, Robot, where the robots take over. Because the humans ain't doing shit no more. Okay? They have been totally colonized by artificial intelligence. By putting all of their intention into it. Now the robots take over. They put it right in the movie to show you what's taking place. Hope y'all see this. Hope y'all understand this. Hope you can see it with a full... A full view. In other words, the mortal on earth, he's going to become useless. Because now robots are going to be doing everything. They got, they got um, robots now that look exactly like humans. And people are looking to have relations with them and shit. They're even, not long ago... They find a way they can transfer the consciousness of a monkey into a computer. This is what they're looking to do. They're looking to transfer their consciousness into a robot so that they can live forever on this realm, on this dimension. Because they know, those that have sold their souls, they know that they can't go to a, a higher dimension. Because they owe allegiance to a lower dimensional demon. And in the process, they are going to go to that demon sphere and become that become the servant or slave of that low dimensional demon. So they're trying to escape the death process by transferring their consciousness into either a robot, some type of computer. Okay? This is the point of that. Who wants to live inside a fucking robot? I don't know. Not me. Okay? But this is why they are doing this. And it's, de it's de definitely possible. Damn sure possible. Because if I can transfer my consciousness inside a fucking kitten, a cat, and see through their eyes and understand what they experience, I know damn well they could do it too. Y'all think about it now. Because thought transference is real. This is, why, this is how people are able to remote view. This is how people are able to astral project and astral travel. This is how people are able to send telepathic thoughts, pictorial telepathy, and things of that nature. Okay, so it's damn sure possible. They made movies of people, you know, they show you shit all the time. Excuse me. They made movies of people transferring their consciousness into computers. So, this is the future. But... This future, according to the oracles of the Illuminati, is a world that is strict, strictly designed for Freemasons. Anybody else will become a programmable robot for the Freemasons. In other words, the nanotechnology that they will be inserted with will make them a super soldier zombie. 
I mean, and then when you read the Prodigals of the Wise Men of Zion, it basically says the same thing that no no one that is not a Freemason is not allowed in this new world. So this is why, again, I've repeatedly said in few videos, this is why they have made millions of disposable caskets because they're looking to depopulate the world by like nine tenths. Okay. You can read Behold the Pale Horse by William Cooper. He gives the actual facts and documents that he have actually seen while working with the Naval Intelligence Office. He's read the top secret documents. Matter of fact, they killed William Cooper because of the information that he revealed. The CIA went to his house and killed him. Okay, so we know just based off that, he should be looked into because it's something that he was seeing that caused him to lose his life. That was of great importance to humanity. So if you overlook a person like that, or a person like George Jim James, that was killed for exposing truth in his book, Stolen Legacy, shame on you. Okay? People that lost their lives, we know they should be looked into. That's a red flag. So if they kill somebody, they better off just keeping these people alive because it won't be a red flag to really look into these people. But if you kill them, now we're really looking into them. Like, why the fuck they kill them for? Okay? Or if they deport them, it's something to look into. Okay? But point is, this is the world that we are to look forward to. <laughs> hey. That's what we got to look forward to. That's <laughs> what you want me to say. Shit. Y'all think about this. The benefits of astral projection. If everybody could do it. Man, you better see people for who they truly are. You better see their aura and shit. Come about a lie to you and shit. Okay? Because the aura don't lie. But first, you got to know, know how to read the aura. For my understanding of how to read the aura, go read You Forever by Law of Sam Rample. Goes in great detail concerning it. But... You'll be able to study things. This will be like school. While your physical body is sleeping, you could be reading a book. While you sleep. And then you can get more done when you awaken in your avatar physical body. See? You could be going to school on the astral plane like they do in Tibet. While the body race while while their body is resting, they're in school on the astral plane. Then when they wake up, they really ain't worried about school. Although they go to school too on the physical, but it's only a certain certain amount that like are in a llama cell. Like the llamas that's going to be a llama, they go to school on the astral plane. They're traveling to different planets, just like the people in Agartha or Shambhala. They're traveling to different planets, different dimensions. They're learning. Universal universal knowledge. These are the true universities. When you can travel through the universe, that's a university. What we call today a university, that's not no fucking university. Because they're not studying the universe. Now if you can find to what they want you to be programmed into in a box, that's not a universe. Anyway, I hope y'all learned something in this video. They took my videos down, the ones that I mentioned. There's another one that I didn't mention. I meant to mention it. They took a few of my videos down anyway, concerning some of the stuff I'm talking about. Because they don't want my type of truth to get out. They've been unsubscribing my subscribers. I've been having um, some of my subscribers telling me they've been unsubscribed. YouTube is unsubscribing them. And apparently they don't want my message to get out. But that's how it is when you really drop truth. I don't get on here just to make content. Like some some YouTubers, they'll get on here and they, you know, they just wanna make make a video so they can get paid. That's not my intentions. Not at all. All the time making videos when the spirit hit me. Okay, when it hit me. I got to have something to talk about. I ain't going to never get on here and not talk about something. It's going to be something that's worth it. I ain't got time to be wasting my time and I ain't got time to be wasting y'all's. Anyway, until then, hope y'all learned something from this video. May the force be with you. Peace.